What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you my 2015 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video. We're taking a look at the tight end position. We're going to look at my top 10, some small school prospects, as well as some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. First, let's take a look at what goes into my prospect rankings. Number one, it's a trait focus base instead of a level of competition base. I don't care where you play, traits translate. Now look at three games, your best game, player's worst game, and also the best matchup and or competition. And finally, these are not indicative of where I believe these players will actually go in April's draft. Let's take a look at what's new in my 2015 tight end prospect rankings. We're going to be grading these guys and ranking them according to best position fits. That's your inline players, your H-backs, as well as your flex players. Nick O'Leary out of Florida State at 6'3", 250 pounds, grades out as my number one rated H-back prospect in this year's draft class, although I do believe he can excel as an inline player, but I believe he'll flourish greatly as a pro if he's an H-back, and he does a great job of getting down the seam. He has dependable hands. He's a fluid athlete as well and is above average blocker. Now, he can get overpowered in run blocking at times guys get underneath his pads and is able to move him out of the way but i think if he can become a little bit more consistent in that area again he can play inside and i compare his game to chris cooley who played for the washington redskins there's a lot to like about will ty out of stony brook got the chance to see him live versus william and mary this season he's a very good athlete actually returns punts for the Sea Wolves, he's an excellent receiver, a very good route runner, and he looks to score once he has the football in his hands. Now, he lacks the functional strength to play in line, and his run blocking is highly suspect. I think he's more interested in being a receiver as opposed to a traditional tight end, but this is a guy that has a frame 6'3", 260, and plays a lot like Delaney Walker of the Tennessee Titans. Dan Light out of Fordham is another player that I had the chance to see live this year, twice actually, three times in the last two seasons. He's a very good run after the catch guy, solid understanding of coverages and has soft hands. Now he has to get better leverage in the run blocking department, more in particular when he's base blocking guys. He tends to play a little high. He has decent change of direction skills, but more than enough talent to be a functional H-back swing move tight end at the next level. I think this guy has a bright future as a pro. Next up, we have Max Williams out of the University of Minnesota. Here's a guy that has soft hands, probably the best receiving tight end in this year's draft class. I think he'll make an excellent H-back because, again, he understands blocking angles and he's an able blocker, but he's just not overly explosive. And I believe he's stiff athletically. He doesn't play fast and he's not a strong point of attack player. But he's a guy that you have off the line of scrimmage running short to intermediate routes. He's going to make that catch nine times out of ten. And inside the red zone, you can get creative and move him around the formation. He plays a lot like Crockett Gilmore of the Baltimore Ravens. Michael Pruitt out of Southern Illinois had a great week of practice this year at the East-West Shrine game. He has good initial bursts off the line of scrimmage. He's a natural receiver, and he blocks very well. I also believe he works well over the middle of the field. Now, he's not overly explosive, and he plays too high within his routes, meaning that he tends to tip off when he's about to break in or break out. So he needs polish as a route runner in order to play flex. But I do believe as an H-back, he provides a lot of what Clay Harper provides at the position. An intriguing prospect here in Kyrie Lee out of Bowie State that rounds out my H-back prospect rankings. Here's a guy that played okay down at the East-West Shrine game. You can tell he was still learning the little nuances of playing the tight end position. Now, the biggest question I have is whether or not what's his real weight. Is it 250? Is it 260? Will he try to get down to 245? I believe at 245, he'd excel at the next level as an H-back. I think that's where he needs to be on a consistent basis. But as far as receiving skills, he definitely has the hands you look for at the position. 
So let's recap my 2015 NFL Draft prospect rankings for the H-back prospects in this year's draft class. Color-coded by round grade second round prospect Nick O'Leary, I believe can play both inline as well as the H-back position. And in my opinion, only six guys graded out as H-back prospects this year, but still more than enough talent to help out your football team offensively. And check out part three of our NFL Draft prospect rankings for the tight end position as we break down the flex players.